Hello, Christopher Yaks here. And uh, so it's been kind of a crazy week for me. My wife and I, uh, with our two young daughters, we uh, just sold a house last Monday. We bought a house on Tuesday. That was like, you know, the, the juggling of those two things. It worked out really well for us. Um, but anyway, uh, so in this last week, you know, it wasn't just, you know, we're going to, you know, sell and buy. What it was was we're going to sell the house, we're going to rent it back from the, the new buyers, and then we're going to renovate the house we're moving into. And you know we've done this. Uh, well, my brother Jimmy was the contractor for all the hot house uh, build outs that we've done. Uh, but I learned a thing or two from him, and so I was like, you know, let me let me uh, test my hand at it. And so I've kind of been the GC, and I've got a really good friend, Greg, who helps us out. And he's really he's honestly kind of the GC, but I like make sure everything else is set up, scheduling it. Anyway. Um, so for a week, we've been trying to move out of a house, renovate a house, and then move from our old house into all, like into a construction site and finish it all up. And anyway, I say all that because our, we love our new neighborhood. It's just like it just fits us so well. Uh, but our neighbor, uh, who we've met a couple times, uh, uh, she's just wonderful, and she, you know it, we're open people. So we started talking to her, and she was just uh, telling us kind of her life story, and it was filled over the last five years with. Uh, some a lot of heartache, uh, loss. You know, people that she loved dearly in her life um, passed away. And you know, as she's talking about it, I can just feel the pain in her heart. And and I told her, and it's interesting because it's 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 not in the it's not why people come into yoga. It's not why uh, people think about going in and doing a down dog or an up dog uh, for this emotional release. But it's what happens for people. And so what I told her, I was like, you know, you have to practice. You have to practice because what happens in the process of practicing is the mind quiets, right? The mind quiets, you, you literally shut down the thinking mind. And when that happens, you start to process these frozen emotions. And so people that have a steady yoga practice who then deal with loss and deal with the inevitability of life in this world, like we, I mean, we love and we're going to lose the people that we love, it's a way of of not getting stuck in time, not getting stuck in the past, not letting our spirit be held back by an event that we didn't have control over, that we'd never wish on anyone, but it happened. And so what the question then is like, how do we handle that? How do we deal with that? This has been, for John and I, the reason why we developed this whole Yoga for Life Mastery is that you know what we're real about the the nature of life and it's you know it's eventual end you know like we're all going to die at some point and that that's a reality that if we come to terms with now and we start uh, allowing ourselves not to dwell on it but just to be honest about it to be real about it it then it keeps us and prevents us from taking life for granted, from taking our relationships for granted. And this is the, and this yoga for life mastery. This is really under the you know the self mastery, but the heart piece. The heart piece is all about uh, staying in the present moment. And that's that, it's thrown out a lot in yoga. But what I really mean is is allowing yourself to be wholehearted. And when we're we're not able to process loss from the past, whether it's betrayal and not loss of life, but maybe loss of a, of a friendship, loss of a marriage, loss of even like a dog or a cat or a, a loved one and, and the animal world. Like that loss, when not processed, it encourages us to, to, to guard ourselves, to put a wall around our hearts. And, and that keeps us from relating to the people that are in our lives still in, in a more intimate, deeply connected way. And so uh, so it's, it's fascinating to me because what we're doing in, in this process of yoga and the way John and I have developed and created it is it's, it's not just physical. I don't practice yoga uh, to get better at yoga. I practice yoga to keep my body feeling good, to keep my mind clear and my ability to manage stress at very high levels and to also make sure that emotionally I'm able to be real with the people in my life. I'm able to mourn when it's time to mourn, to grieve when it's time to grieve, but also to know that those people who I've lost wouldn't want me to stay stuck in that sadness forever. They want me to, they would want me to live and, and this practice is a way of, of keeping my heart open. Not like, not, uh, not forgetting them, but making sure that they're near and dear to my heart and the love that we felt is why I feel the pain I do, but it's really about uh, a way of mastering the self, 
of being real about the realities of life, of the body going, you know, deteriorating, getting shorter because of gravity, getting, you know, less flexible, and to combat that with the practice, and to combat stress with the practice of mindfulness, and to combat, you know, loss with the practice of appreciation, of love, of deliberate daily appreciation and love, and so. And this is what that, uh, that self-mastery is all about, is like, how do we become resilient to the effects of life, the inevitabilities of life? And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a beautiful path, and we just love sharing it. So I appreciate your time. Thanks so much.